All right, so we finally got the prototype done. So we're working on the prototype for the green bad pickup. Uh, right now I'm moving this truck here out of my driveway so that we can actually pick it up. It's right over here. Ooh. I'm showing you from a distance so you can't see our terrible welds. They're like really bad, but we got it. Let's get it mounted onto a dumpster. We're actually gonna put it on 14 yard even though I prefer 20. But both of us did back day yesterday and we are toast. This thing's heavy. My next goal is actually to produce another one that's much lighter weight. But we've got a bag pickup and I'm gonna go see if this thing works at all anyway. All right, so there she is. She is assembled now. Again, don't look at my welds. But what we're gonna do now is we'll probably go put a pin through this. We need to drill a little hole. And then we've got ourselves a little trolley system. So this bad boy will sit in here. Keegan, you don't mind sliding that bad boy in there? Absolutely, on, on the old prototype 6.9. All right, I like that name. So, yeah, she's a little tight. I didn't adjust it. All right, so now you get an idea. Exactly. So, there's a couple ways we're gonna do this. We can essentially just tip the dumpster down and actually use the chains that'll be on the bottom of that to lift it up part way and then push it in the rest way. But we also went and picked up, excuse my trash, my wife asked me to take it out. It is out. We've got these. I went and I got a little bit stronger than a one ton because you never know what, you know, butthole might put in your uh, dumpster bag that'll be too heavy. But we got a chain hoist that'll be hooked up to the bottom of that trolley and it should definitely be able to pick up every bit of every bag we ever do. All right, so there she is. This is how it's gonna look. Although, you gotta use your imagination a little bit longer. We might have to go pick up a 20 to get this, but we got a bag to go pick up. We're being impatient. But the idea is this will actually crank the bag up high enough that we can then slide it into the dumpster problem we're going to run into with this dumpster since it's more shallow is the bag probably isn't going to clear once it's all the way up here but the 20 yard will fix that since it's significantly taller we'll have to see if we can still make this work today for demonstration purposes but we also went ahead we only bungee corded the front because well that's really just to keep it from rattling the back is where all the downward pressure needs to be because if you think about it, the weight of the actual bag is going to be right here. And so as we push it through there, it'll be okay. So all the weight was here, so it's not like the whole front end can come up, but the back end definitely could. All right, ready? we already changed our mind. We're going to put this here, and we're going to go get the other one so we don't end up doing twice as much work. Like we said, not the most efficient way to load it yet, but prototype. We're gonna add some D-rings to the top of at least the prototype so we can move it with a machine, pick it up with some chains, but we're gonna have to figure out a way to make it lighter.
equals the square root of negative one, then I squared. All right, that's the clearance we're looking for. So we'll come back, we'll get a better pin. It's more appropriate here, but at least now we have something to stop it from rolling off. And then this should work perfect. All Check right. Out the rig, baby. The rig. Finally get to test this thing out. All right, let's get these open. We're gonna undo this so we can actually move the whole rig down two feet. All right, Keegan, you're seeing the setup. We're strapped down. We've got it two feet forward. We've got it there on the edge. What do you think is happening here? Well, I'm hoping it goes smooth, but I'm thinking it's gonna be a little clunky on our first try. First try is expected to be a little clunky, I, I agree. Let's see what happens. So obviously we made a couple of mistakes here right off the bat. We left way too much slack in here as we tried it. And the other thing is, well, we didn't tilt the dumpster. We know we can do that. We 100% know we can tilt the dumpster, which brings the chain down more, but we just wanted to see if in like the hardest way possible, we could just do it this way. One person, no assists or anything. What I really want to know, and somebody tell me in the comments, can I get an attachment to that thing right there? crank this thing with a drill because that would be mint make this way faster if we ever have to do it this way without tilting stoked absolutely stoked that worked better than we both anticipated no doubt in my mind that worked way better than we thought so we're gonna push this thing back in real quick and we're gonna get on the road but at least now we know one person can do this no problem by themselves as long as we kind of have this set up and ready to go button the door down tighten this strap down and we're back on the road so like you saw in those videos very much a prototype but I really do want to nail it down get it all cleaned up make it so we can actually fabricate them with brackets and put them together a little bit lighter weight material and make them custom to these max xd and lone star dumpsters because i think a lot of guys really do like them and they're at least max xd and they are just looking for a solution to pick up those bags of course those bags if you order them on amazon go out real fast like they're on back order i've got about 20 or 30 on order right now they're not coming because, well, all of you guys are ordering them too. So I think there's a market for guys to pick these up a little bit simpler. Let me know what you think though. No secret that Max XD is kind of my go-to for trailers, but of course we finally have another problem and we don't have very often a problem with the Max XD, but you'll notice these are on blocks. These are not. So I need to find a way to fix this temporarily because of course, uh, Keegan was coming back from an inspection, literally just got the trailer inspected DOT wise, and this trailer jack was halfway down, which I found really weird. It wasn't down on this half here. This half was not exposed, it was all the way up, but only this side over here had this part exposed, so I knew something was wrong. To our knowledge, he didn't bottom out or anything crazy, so I'm not sure exactly how it happened, but either way, we've had this trailer for nearly four years, three, four years now, and I think the only thing I've ever had to replace was a U-bolt, a solenoid, and obviously the batteries, and then a winch. A winch eventually went out, but that isn't really specific to the trailer. That's provided by somebody else. But you can really see the evolution in these trailers because Max XD clearly thinks about their customer needs because if you go look on the other trailer, the jacks are made different. And we can go look at that in a second maybe. But if you notice, these are within the toolbox which is kind of a pain to service in this case because you got to take this cap off to get to it i'm not sure if these are bulldog jacks but they are on the new ones see you can tell they probably put these on the outside of the newer trailers i love seeing that like just the progression of these trailers over the years because this is one of their more recent designs but this one obviously was made so you could probably service it from the exterior 
a lot easier and it had breakaway points so if you were ever really to hit something or bottom out real bad you know you've only got one jack to replace instead of two and i just would assume those were the reasons okay we're going to use some redneck ingenu ingenuity that's a big word for redneck ingenuity to at least get those things ready to go i'll reach out to max d about maybe some parts to actually service it and get it going but i still want to use it in the meantime so we got to make sure that we can actually keep that jack up while we're driving on the road because that would be well that'd be a disaster so let's figure something out vegan power wash in the driveway as you can tell i've been a little abusive to it lately started a landscape project only a couple hours left on that i'll get it done eventually but anyway gotta do a little bit of the home maintenance too because well even though this is a, we have a business and a shop we use the house a lot for a lot of things so gotta keep up with it all it's all the same in the small business world you may have noticed we got a new hat for the year 2023 gets a new hat we get a new hat every year last one was looking a little rough so uh to one of my subscribers who i owe a hat to i know i have one person out there specifically that i promised a hat from a video and i just now got a couple of them in so i'll make sure to send that out asap uh to anybody else we've got a couple left so make sure to like and subscribe and in future content we'll try to give a couple more away but also shout out to blue collar capital you guys should really check them out because uh, you can see them on instagram it's a subscriber of ours he reached out wanted to shoes a shirt got some pretty cool things he also sent me a sticker very cool stuff they've got on that site at least I'm a fan. You can take a look, but feeling pretty patriotic today. Check them out. Let's just see if there's really anything kind of cut. That's more than we need. How do I do it? Yes. They're silly expensive, but whatever. We'll use them for something else. I wonder if this will avoid our factory warranty. Well, um, I think I got too much chain. Uh, one link will do it. She's flush, so she's at least legal. It'll just be kind of a, a challenge to use it sometimes. But you know what? We always have blocks in it, so we'll make it work. And in the meantime, we'll reach out to Max XD and see if we can't get those parts. If you squint, it's mint. It'll work for now. All right, that'll wrap it up, guys. Why don't you go ahead and uh, criticize my engineering skills and let me know what you think, but... <gasps> He's got an upset baby. We just got home. If you made it this far into the video, you must kind of like this content just a little bit, so you might as well just go ahead and like and subscribe. If you don't like it, well, make sure to leave a mean comment about why. I'd love to hear it. But it sounds to me like it might be time to go. So make sure to like and subscribe and uh, keep blue collar great. Catch you guys next time.